Hello, this is Mr. Minnick. We're looking at uh, Algebra 2, Chapter 4, Section 7, this worksheet. Number 4, the, the directions actually are beneath it. If you started number 4 by using the quadratic formula, that's okay, I guess. Um, we get negative, negative 4, or the opposite of negative 4, plus or minus the square root of negative 4 squared minus 4 times 3 times 3. All that's divided by 2 times a, so 2 times 3. Um, and then the next step, we simplify and we get 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 36 over 6. And then if you got it to this next step here, that's pretty good. 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 20 over 6. So what you might notice here is that under the square root, you get negative 20, which tells us there's going to be two imaginary solutions. And on this one, really all you had to have done was just find that that b squared minus 4ac, the stuff in the radicand, the stuff under the square root. So the negative 4 squared minus 4 times 3 times 3, that's the discriminant. That's 16 minus 36, and that's negative 20. And since it's less than 0, that's why there's two imaginary solutions. So that's what we were looking for you to have done on number 4. Um, when this is all said and done, maybe we'll come back and look at number 8. But that's number 4. Since the discriminant the stuff under the absolute or under the uh, square root rather since the discriminant is negative there are two imaginary solutions okay uh, moving on then to number 12 it says use this uh, or solve this with the quadratic formula okay uh, one thing that I notice about this particular problem is that it would factor pretty quickly and I know the answers are negative 2 and negative 6 Maybe you recognize that, maybe you didn't. But anyway, here's how it goes with the quadratic formula. Uh, negative 8 plus or minus square root of 8 squared minus 4 times 1. Real important here, if there's no a value written, it is 1. If you make it 0, it ends up changing a lot. But the a value here is 1, uh, and then a 12, and then that's divided by 2 times 1. So we get negative 8 plus or minus the square root of 64 minus 48 all over 2, so we get negative 8 plus or minus the square root of 16 all over 2. So then we get negative 8 plus or minus 4 all over 2, and that's not good enough. Remember, uh, if you have all numbers like this, you're going to get rational answers. So we have negative 8 minus 4 over 2, which is negative 12 over 2, which is negative 6, like I said it would be about a minute ago. And then we also have to take negative 8 plus 4 over 2. And a lot of people want to say, well, the answer is plus or minus 6. No, it's not like that. It doesn't work like that. Um, so we get negative 4 over 2, which is negative 2. And those are the two answers that, again, a minute ago I said that would be the answer. So we could have solved by factoring. But on number 12, solving it with the quadratic formula, looks like that. You get negative 6 and negative 2. All right. So we'll put 16 on a new page here and take a look at that one. The interesting thing about 16 is um, I had mentioned in class, you need to put the equation in standard form first, quadratic term. The linear term, this negative 3x that's on the right side of the equation, needs to join everything on the left side. So when it does, it's going to become plus 3x, OK? And then the minus 5 is OK on the left side of the equation. We just slide it over. So in this problem, my A is 2, my B is 3. So B is 3 and C is negative 5. So what I get then is that X is negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 5. And that ends up being divided by 2 times 2. So I get negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 plus 40 all over 4. And again, this question would have been able to be solved by factoring. So I get negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 49 over 4, which is negative 3 plus or minus 7 over 4. So again, I have to actually simplify this. Negative 3 minus 7 over, I said negative 3 minus 7. All over 4 ends up being negative 10 over 4, which is negative 5 halves. That's one of my solutions, negative 5 halves. And then I get negative 3 plus 7 over 4, which is 4 over 4, which is 1. Okay. 
So the two solutions here are one and negative five halves. And I could kind of work backwards and, and realize that this would have factored into five x plus two and x minus one. And we'll actually look at some stuff like that in chapter five, but you didn't have to solve by factoring, you had to solve with the quadratic formula. So that's how number 16 goes. So that's the solutions for the first few. Um, maybe in another video or, or live in class, we'll take a look at the other ones. So it's been real, it's been fun. If you have any questions about these, be sure to ask. Um, see you next time. Good.